All right, y'all, so look. Today I'm about to go try this place called Underground Pizza or something like that. I noticed something. We've done a lot of reviews on this channel, but we ain't never do no pizza review, you feel me? So I'm shooting up there right now. Apparently they got this lemon pepper pizza or something crazy stuff I ain't never heard of, bro. And the pizza look crazy. You already know how them Instagram foods be looking. So yeah, we gonna, we gonna shoot over there real quick. We gonna see what's up with it. So I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I'm kinda lost right now. I don't know where this spot's at. It's a five minute walk, but there ain't no parking. You see, I'm in the alleyways, I'm in all that. Hold up. It's out here with the hazards on, bro. Like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Look, F it, I'ma park right here. I ain't paying for no parking either. Have y'all ever wondered why you gotta pay for parking, bro? Like, parking is free. Like, are you kidding me? We got some street corn pizza. We got some Parmesan pizza that got that lemon pepper roll on it. And then we also got some homemade mozzarella sticks. I'm gonna let y'all know what these don't hitting the ball up real quick. It's smelling crazy. I'm kinda excited right now. Like I said, I haven't had pizza in a minute. Oh, looking like oh yay oh yay Ooh, handmade mozzarella sticks according to the website this marinara sauce is made in-house you feel me it's their own special sauce let's see what's good with it mm. marinara is super sweet the mozzarella sticks are super flaky y'all they kind of remind you of fish sticks the way it is you see how they real crummy they handmade they make them up in there and they hit it not gonna lie to you they got a little bit of Parmesan cheese sprinkled up on that junk. And they good, bro. I love mozzarella sticks. Ain't gonna hold y'all. You hear that crunch? So flaky, so delicious, y'all. For mozzarella sticks, I'm gonna be honest. You always get a 10 out of 10 for mozzarella sticks. Now we got the street corn pizza. You see, it look like a elote pizza. Never heard of it before, but they got it. You feel me? I love crazy creations like this. Innovation at its finest. You feel me? You can't get this anywhere but there. And I got it. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm not liking about this is, as y'all can see, the cheese looks like this is old pizza. And they reheated it up. You see the cheese is super burnt. The, uh, the sauce that they put on it is kind of hard a little bit. And the way it's looking, y'all, it's not looking like fresh pizza. I was excited about it, but it's just, it looked like some leftovers, bro. And they tried to sauce it back up and bring it back to life. You see the crust is super burnt. Clearly they wasn't getting enough business and they giving out old pizza. We gonna try it though. Oh! It's super tough. And the green sauce is kind of sour. Look at this. I was, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I was excited about trying this. But it's super salty. Like I said, the cheese. The cheese is overcooked. The crust is stale. I'm spitting. Damn. I'm going to get this like a, a 2 out of 10, y'all. In all honesty. This the one that we wanted to try all along, y'all. The chicken parmesan, you feel me? They said that that chicken got lemon pepper on it. It don't look like it. It still kind of look like some some old pizza. The way like the crust and everything is looking and how everything is all burnt. It really don't look that good. But I'm so excited about trying this, y'all. Like this is the reason why I came here. I seen this pizza and I wanted to try it so bad, bro. I'm excited about it. It better be good, bro. This has got to be one of the worst grades of chicken, y'all. It's crazy to me. Like, it's looking crazy. If you look real, real close. Hold on, let me see. Let me if you look real close at the crust, it looks like there's lint on the crust, y'all. Y'all can see on the edges there's lint, bro. Like, it, it's kind of hard to see. But, like, right here and right over there. I peeps everything, y'all. Like, I don't, I don't be playing when it comes to these reviews. So, in all honesty, y'all, like, I never return food, but I'm returning this today, bro. Like, 
usually I force myself to eat the food, bro. But this this food's old, bro. Like it's definitely old. Some of y'all be saying that, like, yo, peaks, you always complaining, but y'all seen this pizza is fucking old, bro. Like the cheese is burnt. It looks like 7-Eleven pizza that's just been fucking sitting, bro. Like, are, do you expect me and my kids to eat that, bro? If you if you expect me and my kids to eat that, you wow. We not doing that. I'm bringing it back up in there, bro. It's old food. Are you kidding me? Y'all, look how delicious this pizza look. And then look what they gave me. I wouldn't feed this shit to my dog, bro. Like I said, it's the first video where y'all see me return something, bro. This shit is disgusting. The bottom, the bottom is, is, is golden brown. It's not, it's not overdone. The edges, the edges are the cheese. The cheese gets really crispy. They're, that's okay. what we're known for. So I finally got my refund, y'all, after they sat there and tried to tell me that the pizza was supposed to be like that. Like, bro, what do you mean the pizza's supposed to be like that, bro? Are you tripping? Like, did you see that dude's fingernails, bro? They was black. Like, is you a mechanic or is you a cook, bro? You're disgusting. That's how you cooking food, bro? Like, that's why monkey pox stuff like that is spreading. Dirty dudes like that. And then the other dude was like, man, uh, I will refund him for the corn one, but not the other one. And the dude's like, I already did it. And he's like, it wouldn't have been me. I wouldn't have did it. Yeah, you would have. I fuck you up over a $30 pizza, bro. Like, nah, you ain't gonna play with my bread like that, bro. I eat that pizza, bro. Pizza hard, bro. You got me bent right now, bro. Like, I'm dry like tight, bro. Real talk, bro. Like, nah.